on the top. He's going to go in, untouched, touchdown! Stadium in Humboldt, where the Milan Bulldogs get set to take on the Humboldt Vikings. Hi everybody, welcome to this presentation of Milan High School Football on Ball Game Blitz. I'm Clay Cottom. We're glad to have you along for this county rivalry game. Getting set for the coin toss and making their way to midfield are the captains for tonight's game. For Milan, Landon Walker, Jaleel Buckner, Storm Williams, and Alan Staggs. And for Humboldt, Cameron Mays, Merle Stance, and Ramonte Claybrook. Tell you a little Viking bit more about this game the and set the stage 40, Cameron as we get ready in just a moment. The captains are in Number midfield. Dance. The official talking to him here. And as we prepare for the toss of the coin to see how we'll start. Milan comes into this game with a record of 0-1, while Humboldt is 1-0. Both teams had close margins but saw different outcomes in last week's season openers. Milan lost to Peabody on the road 24-20. Milan had a 10-0 lead over the defending 2A state champions at halftime, but Peabody battled back in the second half and scored the winning touchdown with 42 seconds left in the game. Here on this field, Humboldt held off Memphis fairly for a 17-16 win. The Vikings led 17-0 in the half, but the Fairley club used the passing game in the second half and scored twice, and the Vikings held on to win the game. Humboldt wins the toss. And they will receive to begin this game, and we're getting set, so Humboldt will have the ball first. This football game marks the 91st meeting between the two schools. Humboldt leads the all-time series 48 wins to 41 for Milan in one time. The series dates back to 1929. In fact, they've played every year since then to make it one of the state's longest continuously played rivalries. Recently, though, Milan has the advantage, winning 10 of the last 11, including a 41-6 win by the Bulldogs here in Humboldt last year. And the Milan Bulldogs are taking the field for this second game of the 2015 campaign, and here come the Humboldt Vikings. Ladies and gentlemen, you are Humboldt Vikings. Home team making their way out of the field, Humboldt. In front of the fans here at Barker Memorial Stadium, and Milan's taking the field as well. Humboldt's coached by Junior Reed in his third season with a 15 and 10 record overall. He's one and one versus Milan. Reed, of course, a standout player for the Vikings, longtime middle school coach and administrator here in town. Milan's head coach Jeff Morris in his 20th season, a record of 198 wins and 57 losses. Coach Morris is 15 and five against Humboldt. And talking with the Humboldt players at the 40-yard line is a familiar face to both sides. That's assistant coach for Humboldt Dan Bland. He has been head coach at both of these schools, former uh, head man at Milan from 1994-95 and at Humboldt from 2008 to 2012. So Milan Vikings will kick it off. It'll be Connor season. Allen to kick it from the 40-yard line. Humboldt to receive and back deep for the Vikings will be Marikas, Duncan, Duncan and Jalen Stewart. So Along Stewart and Duncan Stewart. will await the kick back at the five-yard line. Connor Allen. And Connor Allen will get the task of kicking the ball off here for Milan to start the game. A great West Tennessee rivalry gets underway as Allen kicks it, and it's going to be Stewart who fields it back at the three-yard line. He's going to cut to the outside. He's still on his feet, and he's going to be wrestled down at the 20, just outside the 25-yard line. Jaleel Buckner on the stop for Milan. Jaleel Buckner on the stop. Spot Mark the ball, the ball at the 27, 27 yard where Humbo will have it to take ten over first Vikings. and 10. Stewart with a 24-yard return on the opening kick. 
So Isaiah Brown, the Humboldt quarterback, will bring out his team. Brown's the junior, sat out last year, but it was a great quarterback in junior high and has improved since then. We'll see what he does here. Brown has Stewart in the backfield. Humboldt runs a little bit of the spread, double wing. Tosses to Stewart, and he's going to be pushed out of bounds Stewart, around the 29-yard line. Around the right side. Cameron King there with the defense for Milan. He's forced out of bounds by Cameron King. Milan was lined up in the neutral zone, so Humboldt and the ball will be advanced to the 33-yard line of the Vikings. At the 33-yard line after the penalty. So we'll do it again, first and 10 for Humboldt. Brown with Stewart in the backfield. Here's the snap to Lowen. Going to his left, Brown on his feet. We've got a flag on the play. The pass is going to go out of bounds. Brown's pass is incomplete. Incomplete, is and on the, the clock stops here. Just underway. And the call will be holding against Humboldt. So the first two play attempts in this ball game with Milan lined up in the neutral zone and now a holding penalty to go against, the Vikings. against the Vikings. Back to the 20-yard line. Ball is back to the 20-yard line. Where it will be, first and 15. A little bit longer than that, say first and 17. Here it goes to Brown. He's going to put it in the air. He's got a receiver. It's going to be almost picked off and falls incomplete. Intended receiver is Joseph Cook downfield. Broken up by Blake Miller. It was Blake Miller who had it for a minute on the defense for Milan. But it drops to the ground. Down. And second it's long. second and 17 from the humble 20. We played just 23 seconds in this game. Brown, he's going to be pressured and sacked in the backfield by Jaleel Butner. Isaiah Brown will be sacked. Milan got a quick push there up front. Jaleel Buckner. Buckner pursuing and takes down the quarterback Brown. Loss of seven on the play. It's third and 24. The humble not able to get anything going just yet. Brown is going to keep. Gains about two on the play. And Humboldt will send the, send the punt team on. Stopped by Thomas Burns. So after a shaky start in the first couple of plays for both They're teams, down and the Vikings will be in punt formation. Milan's defense holds on a big sack by Buckner. The almost intercepted pass. Brandon Martinez. And Brandon Martinez will punt out of his own end zone for Humboldt. 10.30 to go first quarter, no score. The Martinez Brooks. To well, Martez Brooks is back to receive. He's at the 43-yard line for Milan. Martinez gets the punt away. Brooks will back off, and it's going to be down at the 34-yard line. So Milan takes over with great field position on their first possession of the game. Here comes the Bulldog offense with quarterback, the senior, Landon Walker had nine starts last year. Had a good game against Peabody Milan last week, 8 of 14 for 159 yards and a touchdown. First and 10. See if Milan can take advantage of the opportunity they have here with the outstanding field position after the defense holds. Milan getting their personnel onto the field. Allen Staggs, the center. In the I formation, Walker tries to pass, is batted down at the line of scrimmage. 
into the backfield Max where it falls incomplete. Into the air, falls incomplete. It'll bring up second and ten. A good job by the Humboldt front to get a hand up there, force the incomplete pass, and that's a formidable front uh, four on the Humboldt defense with Wardlow, Dance, Cox, and Dennis up there. Second and ten, Milan from the Viking 34. Walker, hands off. First guy through, and he's going to be stopped That's for a gain of about Spencer two. Walker Spencer Walker had the carry. First contact, Eric Gaines for the Vikings. They'll give him to the 32. So a gain by Walker of two yards, and it'll be third down at eight. Humboldt's defense trying to come up with a stand here on their own. An incomplete pass on first down, a gain of two by Walker. And there's Landon Walker, and he's going to keep and go around the right side. He's got one man to beat spins. It's going to go down to the 11-yard line where it'll be first and That's 10 mile. Landon Walker on the keeper around the right side. Walker faked the handoff inside and then rolled around to the right. Tackle Nobody there Humboldt's to stop him. Glenn. Gain of 21 on the play, and so the Bulldogs move the football. Ball is spotted at the Viking 11 yard line. And we'll have it at the Humboldt 11 Bulldogs. for first and 10. 9.15 to go in the opening quarter. No score here with Milan and Humboldt. Bulldogs with the football in the I formation. Here they come. Walker, a handoff to the freshman, and he's going to get a few yards. That's Jacquez Norman, the 5'10", 160 freshman, getting the promotion to the varsity roster this week. Almost Randy Pirtle on the stop. Picks up four yards, and it'll be second down and six. Randy Pirtle with the defensive stop for Humboldt. Second and six, handoff this time, and Getting yardage is Anthony Ballard, the sophomore. Got a good push down Anthony there by the, on the offensive front. A host of Vikings in on the stop. Ballard up the middle down to the one yard line, picks up 10 yards. And so it will be first and goal from the one yard line for my line. up the one yard line, first and goal Bulldogs. Walker under center. We'll have a whistle and see, get it all sorted out here. The call offsides against Humboldt, so Milan. Offsides against the Viking. We'll defense. have the ball. Moved half the distance to the goal, the so inside the, the one yard line now. We'll try it again for first down. Walker's the tailback with McDaniel in at fullback. And the handoff is to Tristan McDaniel who makes his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Milan. That's Tristan McDaniel on the carry into the end zone for the Bulldog touchdown. McDaniel scores from one yard out to put the Bulldogs onto the scoreboard with 7.58 to go here in the first quarter. Six to nothing and awaiting the point after try from Connor, Connor Allen. The point after. Landon Walker has the hold. Here's the snap. Allen's kick is good. So at the 7.58 mark in the first quarter, it's Milan seven, Humboldt nothing. Connor Allen to kick it off after Milan scores to take a 7-0 lead. Stewart and Duncan are deep for the Vikings. Stewart and Duncan, the deep backs for Humboldt. Allen up inside the Viking five-yard line. Milan had great field position of that opening possession, took it 34 yards. McDaniel scores in the one-yard run. 
We'll see what the Vikings do with their second time with the football. We've got a flag and the call will be offsides on Humble. So the ball will be advanced five yards to the 45 yard line where Allen will kick it for the second time in this game. The kick will now come from the 45 yard line. Allen boot to ball and it's gonna take a hop and gonna be fielded by Duncan. He's going to make a move and going to be taken down at the 19-yard line. Rico Duncan, on the return. Rico Duncan on the return. Initial hit by Storm Williams. Storm Williams in on the stop for Milan. Ball is at the 19-yard line. Return of about 13 yard yards. And so humble. And Vikings will take possession at their own 19-yard line. First and ten. Seven and a half minutes to go here in the first quarter. Milan leads seven to nothing. Isaiah Brown and the Vikings. Out, snap, and the handoff is going to go to Stewart up the middle. And he'll pick up Jalen Stewart about three carry. or four. Stopped by Spencer Walker. Spencer Walker makes the tackle for Milan. Gain of close to four yards. It'll be They'll give it four and yards, and Vikings. so second and six for the Vikings from the 23. Here's the handoff. Stewart again up the mat, up the middle, and he bullies his way forward. Stewart on the carry, straight up the middle. For a gain of one. First contact by Buckner. Good stop up the middle as Jaleel Buckner met Stewart. Ball just short of the 25 and it's third line. down and From five the from the 25. Brown, back to pass, now rolling. He's going to throw it downfield, and it's incomplete. Three Bulldogs there. Viking pass falls incomplete. Blake Miller got a hand on it. That'll bring up fourth down. Good idea there for Humboldt, but they can't uh, make anything happen, and so the punt team Brandon on Martinez for the, the second Vikings attempt of the game from Brandon Martinez. He stands back the at the Viking 13. Will be deep to receive. So Milan's defense with another stop. Two runs and a pass attempt for Humboldt that time. The punt from Martinez in the air. And calling a fair catch is Martez Brooks and made by right Brooks. at the 50-yard line. Ball is spotted at midfield, first and 10 Bulldogs. So Milan's offense after punching it in on their first possession. Bulldogs have a 7-0 lead. They'll have a little more ground to work uh, for this time with the ball at midfield. Walker, and the hand to Ballard, up the middle. Anthony picks Ballard up eight. on the carry. He will be tackled by Demarcus Wardlow. The Marcus Wardlow, the junior with the stop for Humboldt. Just outside the 41 yard Give him line. a gain of nine on the previous carry for Ballard and second and one for Milan. Jordan Shepard now in at fullback and Walker in is going to be caught by Brooks. Makes a move. He's still on his feet. And he's going to go into the end zone for a Bulldog touchdown. 41-yard touchdown pass from Landon Walker pass to Lamartez Brooks. To Lamartez Brooks is good for And Milan strikes quickly touchdown. on the second play of the possession. Connor Allen in for the point after. The Bulldogs go up 13 to nothing, awaiting the point after try from Connor Allen. 
He is three for three on point after tries this year, two for two on field goal attempts. The hold by Walker, the kick is good. With 5.09 to go in the first quarter, there's timeout on the field. It's Milan 14, Humboldt nothing. Milan scores on a similar play as we saw from the Peabody offense in week one. Just make the receiver work for the ball. Brooks did and took it all the way in from 41 yards out. The Bulldogs have a 14-0 lead here. We're just over halfway through the first period. Milan off to a quick start in this one. Connor Allen to kick off from the 40. Stewart and Duncan are Again, Stewart and Duncan. That's Jalen Stewart and Marikas Duncan back in there at about the two-yard line to receive this ball. A nice crowd here on hand at Barker Memorial Stadium tonight for the second game of the season. Allen will wait for the officials to uh, get set in place. Tristan McDaniel with a one-yard run, and Lamartez Brooks, a 41-yard reception for from Landon Walker, account for the two scores from Milan in this game. Allen with the kick, and this time it'll be fielded by Stewart at the three. Juggles the ball, going to try to get outside, and there he's going to be met James by Stewart Dylan Whitehead. Got Sean Atkinson in on the stop as well. Ball spotted at the 20 yard line. He gets line. out to the Humboldt 20 yard line, so a return of about 17 for Stewart. And Humboldt has it first and 10. Zach Cox, the junior, gets it done at center for the Vikings, and he'll get it back to Brown. Stewart in the backfield. Two to the left, two to the right, and they're going to pass over here, and it's going to be caught by Kylan Martin, and he's going to pick up a humbled first down. Out to the 33-yard line. Pass is complete from Isaiah Brown. It's the Kylan first first Martin. down of the game for the Vikings on their third possession. Martin out in the flat, gains some ground. So Humble trying to get it started here. Has the ball out to their own 34. Brown back to pass again. This time he's going to look for Carlton Childs on the near side. It's Childs and falls incomplete. Viking pass falls incomplete. It'll be second and ten. is uh, looking like they may go to the air a little bit more here after some success on the first down play. Sports fans, the clock is not working. We will be keeping the clock on the field. The clock will be kept on the field. Second down, and we have time called to make the announcement that the game clock is malfunctioning, so the officials will keep the clock on the field. So we'll try to judge it as best as we can up here for you. Uh, in the meantime, we can tell you when the clock stopped, it was 3.38 to go in the first quarter. Milan leads 14 to nothing, Humble with the football. Vikings have it at their own 34, second down and 10. Humboldt working with their four receiver set, but he's going to hand it off to the belly of Stewart, and he's going to be met by Storm Stewart Williams and Jaleel Buckner back in there as well on the tackle. Williams with the initial contact. Tackle by Storm Williams. Loss of one. It'll be third down 11. It'll be third and 10 for the Vikings. So 
on third down. Cox will snap it to Brown. Brown back to pass. He's got the receiver. Catch made at the 40 and falling out of bounds. Pass is complete. That's Brandon Brown Seymour with Seymour. the catch. He'll be forced out by Cameron King. Gains to the 43. So a gain of 10 on the play. It's fourth down and one. Fourth down for the Vikings. And the Humboldt coaching staff elects it to punt it away here in their own territory. Good try, the best offensive showing to this point by Humboldt, but it stalls on the stop on Martinez third down, and Brandon Martinez will punt. Special teams has been a point of emphasis for the Vikings in the offseason. Both teams are young, uh, Humboldt and Milan both with only eight seniors, Humboldt with a large junior class. And penalty on the play is delay of game against Humboldt. Penalty against the Vikings, moves it back to the 38-yard line. Backs them up five yards. It'll be fourth and about six. Lamartez Brooks awaits the punt. He's at the mile and 40. High snap over Martinez's head. Some pressure, ball on the ground. Martinez is gonna fall on it back at the 12-yard line where Milan will take over First and 10. With good pressure there after the snap went over his head and Martinez tried to pick it up for a minute and then fell on it after it got away from him. So Milan first Bulldogs and 10. Will take over. 13 yard line, first and With good 10. field position, but the best of the game so far inside the Humboldt 15. Make it the 12 to be exact, first and 10. Walker with two receivers to the right. The handoff is going to Jacquez Norman. Up the middle, gains to the four yard line. Now they'll give him to the five. It'll be second and three. Jacquez Norman, the freshman, had an impressive outing in the freshman game earlier this week. And in the absence of junior running back J.P. Porter, who will be out seven weeks with a broken bone in his ankle. Norman is getting some action. This time it'll be McDaniel the fullback and Walker the tailback. Second and four from the six. Walker, that's Landon to Spencer Walker. And Spencer's gonna cut it back inside Spencer after Walker running to the right. He'll be knocked down by Denzel Epperson. Down to the three. He gets close to the marker. It's third down and short. Nope, they're going to take a minute to measure it, so he may have it. We'll see here. We know there's less than two minutes to go in this first quarter. Milan leading 14 to nothing, and the Bulldogs threatening again. Just short, as you can see the official signal it here. So third down and inches at the, thir at the humble three-yard line. The Viking defense looking to make a big stand right here. Milan wants to punch it in to extend their lead to three touchdowns. Milan had the touchdown pass to Brooks a little while ago, but for the most part, keeping it on the ground tonight, especially inside the Humboldt 20. Walker with Ballard back there. And here comes a pass. He had Chandler Smith that overthrows him in the end zone. Incomplete, so Humboldt's defense holds. It'll be fourth down and inches from the Viking three. And Milan is going to go for it, it looks like. A couple of times the Bulldogs had it deep in Peabody territory but had to settle for field goals last week. And Coach Morris thought if they could have gotten seven points instead of three, that game outcome may have been different. Going for it here. They just need a few inches, mind you. Walker under center. Handoff to Ballard. 
is going to be tackled, pushes into the end zone, touchdown Bulldogs. Anthony Ballard into the end zone. Ballard met at the line of scrimmage, but gets out of the tackle and pushes forward. So Anthony Ballard with the three yard touchdown run to give Milan the 20 to nothing lead. We're nearing the end of the first quarter. Don't know exactly how much time as the game clock is malfunctioning, but they have not signaled the end of the quarter just yet. Connor Allen to attempt the point after. Good snap, and the kick is true. Point after is good. Time out on the field, Milan has 21. So Milan scores again here late in the first quarter to take a 21-0 lead over the Humboldt Vikings. Sports fans, there is one minute and 45 seconds left in the first quarter. We get the announcement that there's one minute 45 seconds to go in the first quarter. Milan leads 21 to nothing after the touchdown run by Ballard. And Connor Allen, uh, more of a line drive kick this time, is going to be fielded by Trey Thomas. He's going to get to the outside and powers forward to the 38 yard line where he's met by Dylan Whitehead on the stop. Make it to the 38. On the stop. Thomas had some momentum, so a good stop there by Whitehead. Humboldt will take over first and 10 from their own 38, and this is their best starting field position of the game so far. The Vikings found some success going to the air on their previous possession. We'll see what they do this time. Brown is going to do so. He's got Martin on the left side, and Martin is still on his feet, gets the first down. It's going to be taken down at the 45-yard line. Storm Williams and Spencer Walker there and for the stop. Isaiah Williams got it first. Kellen Martin is complete. But Brown's pass to Martin, and that's the second time they've Storm gained a Williams first down on that on play. Martin gets it down Ball to the 46-yard line Bruno into Kerr Milan Boy territory spotted. for the first time in this game. Give him a gain of 16 spotted. on the play. At the Viking 47. The Vikings first and trailing 10. by three touchdowns, trying to generate some offense. The counter handoff and Duncan is going to be met and slugged into the backfield by Storm Williams, the linebacker the carry. making his way through. Met by Storm Williams. But give him forward progress of about a yard. It'll be second down and nine. Forward progress. Ball just, just outside the, the Milan 45. Line. Should be at about the one minute mark in this first quarter. Milan leading. Humboldt on the move. Here's Brown. Pitches it to Stewart, but we've got whistles and a stoppage of play. And it's a call to false start, false start against, against Humboldt. Backs him up five yards. To about the Humboldt 49 yard line. Where it'll be second and 14. A couple of times in this game, Humboldt, once they've gotten a good play, they've been set back by a penalty. We'll see if they can gain back the yardage here on second down. Brown rolling right. Pass is going to be complete. Pass to is Brandon complete Seymour. From Brown to Seymour. He's forced Gains out of bounds. back the penalty yardage in. and a little bit more down to the Milan 43. A little swing pass Ball this time to Seymour to the right. At Got past Bryce Van Diver. Yard line. Be third and about seven. And it's third down at seven. Bolt has not been able to convert a third down, and this time they find Martin on the pass out of the flat. He does have the first down, down to the 35-yard line. Isaiah Brown. Milan defenders playing off, giving Martin down that Martin cushion. On the connection. And he's tough to stop Anderson around that left stop. side. Ball spotted at the 35-yard line. Sean Atkinson has to stop for the Bulldogs. But not before Humboldt gains a first down down to the Milan 35-yard line. 
And that's the end of the first quarter. With a score, Milan 21, Humboldt nothing. That is the end of the first Vikings quarter. Vikings driving here into Milan territory, as we tell you. The score, Milan 21, Humboldt Milan zero. leads it, 21 to nothing. And you're watching Milan High School football on Ball Game Blitz. You're watching the Ball Game Blitz. We head to the second quarter of action here at Barker Memorial Stadium. Milan with a 21 0 lead, but Humboldt will be first in 10. A couple of Vikings. pass plays into Milan Bulldog, territory 35. down to the Bulldog 35. Well, Isaiah Brown of the Humboldt offense have it going right now. We'll see if Milan can step up with a stop here. Brown has a lone back. He's going to put it in the air once again. This time, the catch is made by Jody Glenn. It's Joshua Glenn. We see that he goes by Jody down to just outside the 30-yard line. To Jody Glenn. Get a five on the play, so it'll be second down and five. Humboldt now has thrown three or four consecutive plays. That stop was by Storm Williams. Storm Williams had the tackle second on the last the play Vikings. for Milan. So on second down and five, Brown will pass, and he's got Martin and make it pass Seymour. The middle falls That's Brandon Seymour, and the pass goes right through his hands. He was in the middle, and he would have had it. But a little bit too much zip on that one, perhaps. Incomplete, and it's third down and five. It'll be third and five for the Vikings. Milan's defense has held on third down so far in this game. Although Humboldt did have the pass completion on the last time around. This time it's third down and five from the Milan 30. Humboldt and an experienced offensive line. They have four starters back. The fifth starter got a lot of playing time last year. Handoff up the middle and a good stop there. It was Jalen Stewart on the Stewart carry. On the carry. First contact, Storm Williams. Met by Storm Williams to plug that hole right up the middle. Gained one on the play. Ball just inside Maybe. the 30. Got it inside the fourth 30 down. at least. And it's fourth down and five. Five yards. Humboldt is going to talk Time about it Vikings. before we proceed with his fourth down. Timeout called. We've just started the second quarter, and Milan leads 21 to nothing. Humboldt with a big fourth down here, fourth and five in Milan territory at the 30-yard line. We have 10 minutes to ten go minutes left in the first here before halftime. Half I'm both coach Junior Reed. Out to talk to his uh, players, the rest of the humble coaching staff, Joseph Shepard, Dan Bland, Joe Cox, John Bond, and Joseph Rice here. For the Vikings who are 1-0 this season after their opening win against Fairley last week. Tell you about the more about the Bulldogs as we go along here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, fourth and five so for the Vikings. Fourth down and five. Ball at the 30-yard line. Humboldt trying to keep this drive going. Brown is going to be flushed to his left. He's going to keep it. He's going to be forced out of bounds. And short, in fact, it was a loss of about two. And so Humboldt turns it over on downs, and Milan will take over first and ten. Good pressure that time by the Milan Brown defense. The is short of the first Looked like down. Brown might have something through the air for just a minute, but that closed up quickly thanks to the play Trey of the defensive Moore backs. The Bulldogs Trey Moore the is the one out. who forced the quarterback out of bounds. So Humboldt's biggest threat to this point in the ball game is turned away. Milan, Milan will take, will take over first and 10. And ten. And they're on 34 yard line. And they're on 34. Walker with McDaniel and Ballard. He's going to go to the air and a nice pass, but it's going to be incomplete. A cross route there on Brooks. A 
across the middle make it. There is a flag on the play as the pass falls incomplete. Looks like the defensive player may have had a hold of the jersey there. The call is against Milan on a false start and then the interference called against Humboldt. So the penalties will offset. Ball remains at the 34-yard line, and it stays first penalties and ten. against the Bulldogs. So penalties going both ways on that play. Interesting with Brooks coming across the middle. The other receiver out to the left is Jonathan Crabb. The give this time to Ballard. He's got some room. Keeps going. And out to the 42-yard line. On the carry. He'll stop by Offensive Denzel line Epperson. opening up some ground for Ballard. On the play. We do have a penalty on the play. First indication it's going to go against Tumble. It's unsportsmanlike penalty against the Vikings. And so Milan with the game by the Ballard will be helped out by the penalty and the ball will go into Humboldt territory. And down to the 44-yard line. We move all the way line. to the 44-yard line of the Vikings. So it's 22-yard swing on that play with the, the game Bulldogs. and the penalty. Milan back in Humboldt territory, first and 10. Receiver left, one to the right. Luke Red on the offensive line for the Bulldogs. Ben Fry up there as well. Try to identify these players for you as we go along. Walker's going to keep it. Go around the right side. He's got some room. And he's going to go out of bounds inside the 35. That's Landon Walker on the keeper. Stop made good by for a Bulldog Glenn. first down. And the ball will be spotted at the 33-yard line. So an 11-yard run now at on the, the quarterback yard keeper. Line. It is first and 10 for Milan. Right, Walker showing that he's got some wheels as well. Make it to the 32, first and 10. Milan give to McDaniel. And he's going to just power through. Keeps going. It's going to take a host of Vikings to bring That's him down Tristan to stop McDaniel play. McDaniel on the carry. Tristan McDaniel from the fullback position. Initial hit for the Vikings, Eric Gaines. Eric Gaines on the stop for Humboldt. Down to Gain of the six on the play. Six yard line. Picks four. up six. And it'll be second down and four. Walker under center. Hands it off. This time to Jacquez Norman. He spins and gains. That's Jacquez Norman on the carry. Yards. Xavier Dennis on the stop of the Vikings. Dennis on the tackle for Humboldt. Gains two, it'll be third down at two. It'll be third and about two. With the ball placed at the 24 yard line. Jacob Rimmer on that left side of the line for Milan. The give is Anthony Ballard. Ballard carries the ball. Ballard to the left and Stop a Bulldog made by first Trey down. And Thomas. Trey Thomas with the tackle for Humboldt. And the chain moves once again for Milan.
Down to the 16 yard line. For the Bulldogs. Allard picked up eight on the play. High snap. Walker keeps it. And goes out of bounds. Walker on the keeper like around the left end. Gain of the play developed nearly quickly. three to be second. Walker picks up three. A little more than seven. And it's second down at seven from the Humboldt 13. Milan leads Humboldt 21 to nothing. Nearing the midpoint of the second quarter. And Milan looking to punch it in once more. Walker to his right. Pass is complete. Trey Moore. And he's going to go inside the 10. Pass is complete from Walker to, to Moore. Line. Stop made by Jody Glenn of the Vikings. It'd be third six yards and about on one. The play on the completion from Walker to Moore. Ball is at the seven yard line. It's third down and one. So a big play for the Bulldog offense here. After maintaining the momentum on this drive, Humboldt defense wants to turn him away. Here's the third down play. Give us to Ballard. He stays onto his feet inside the five. We'll pick up the first down. That's Ballard on the carry. Looks like Ballard gained at the three yard line. Several so Vikings pick up on the play. Several Viking defenders in on the stop. Ball is spotted at the four-yard line, where it's first and goal for Milan. Milan has it first and goal from the three-yard line. Storm Williams in at blocking back for Milan. McDaniel, the first man through with a push from his offensive line, gets into the end zone for a Bulldog touchdown. Tristan McDaniel, that's his second touchdown run of the game, this time from four yards McDaniel out. McDaniel into the end zone for the touchdown. The Bulldogs have taken a 27 to nothing lead. Connor Allen for the point after. Landon Walker with the hold. Here's Connor Allen with the point after kick. And it's good. Extra point is good. Time out on the field. Milan has 28 and Humboldt zero. So at about the midway point of this second quarter, we'll get a time check for you in a moment. It's Milan 28, Humboldt nothing. You're watching the ball game blitz. Six minutes and 30 seconds left in the first half of play. We have six and a half minutes to go here in the second quarter. Midfield. Milan leads at 28 to nothing. And a good balance of run and pass on that drive for Milan. Maybe a little more, a little heavier rather on the run. And that's how they got it into the end zone for Tristan McDaniel. Connor Allen will kick it off once more. Stewart and Duncan back deep and it's Duncan uh, who makes the catch. It's a good head of steam out to beyond the 20 yard line. That's Rico Duncan on the return. Rico Duncan going to his left. Stop is made by it's Hunter Jones. The yard line. There is a Viking down on the field. Return of about 20 yards. And we have an injured player on the field for Humboldt. Big hand for Eric Gaines That's and the Vikings. That's Eric Gaines, the junior for Humboldt, being helped off the field. Again, those that are involved with the halftime ceremonies for United Way, please make your way to the 50-yard line. The sports medicine team for Humboldt will take a look at Gaines. We'll tell you after the return by Duncan, Humboldt has the ball first and 10 from their own 24-yard line. Just over six minutes to go before halftime. Humboldt looking to get on the scoreboard here as they trail it 28 to nothing in the 91st meeting between these two teams. Pitch to the right, 
And that's Duncan on the carry. Toss to the right that time. No gain on the play, it's second and 10. Snap to Brown, bring pressure, gets it in the air. Catch made by Duncan. And he's gonna be stopped in open field Passes by Storm complete. Williams. Brown. At the 25 yard line, so a gain of one on the play, it's third and nine. That pass was from Brown to Duncan. Brown with a completion. It looked like a duck is going to have some room, but Williams comes over to tie him nine. up real quickly. So third and nine for the Vikings. Ball at the 25-yard line. Brown rolling right. Pressured by Van Diver and a couple of others. Has to get rid of it. Out of bounds he does. Isaiah Brown on the keeper, down. throws the ball Good away. Good pressure. Back there, Bryce Van Diver was there. Thomas Burns as well. A couple Gotta of the four Bulldogs down. in pursuit of Brown on the play. In comes Brendan Martinez. Humble will punt it away Deep with Brandon go, Martinez. Lamartez Brooks. Lamartez Brooks will be back to make the catch for Milan. The return man stands at his 50. At the 50-yard line, rather. Coming into the season, the return area was one of concern for Coach Mars, but he knew that he had the athletes and the speed to make something happen, and Brooks has done a good job of that in this game so far. Brooks back to the 45. He goes to his left, still on his feet. And he's going to get inside the 40 down That's to about the 36-yard line before Humboldt can bring him down. Lamartez Brooks at six foot 160. He is tough to stop. Gerard Cox on the stop for the Vikings. And a 14-yard return by Brooks. And Milan will have it first and 10 in Viking territory at the 36-yard line. Two receivers right, I formation for Milan. Walker with a pass. And there it's dropped by pass Jonathan Crabb. Crabb has some good size at 6'2". The receiver couldn't make the play there. It went through his hands and it'll be second and 10. Inside of four minutes, four minutes. Milan, it looks like getting some different personnel into this game. They have a 28 0 lead. Hand off to Spencer Walker. Tries Andy to get Walker out to the left. The Gains a bit. Wardlow on the stop. Yep, they'll say no gain, so a good stop there by the Vikings. Wardlow in on the tackle. It'll be third and ten. Third and ten for Milan. The Bulldogs, after the good return by Brooks, not able to get anything on their first two plays. See what happens here. Walker to pass. There is Brooks. He makes the catch at about the 24, and he's going to be stopped. This is complete. Jody Glenn in there, as well as Cameron Mays Walker for Humboldt. to Brooks. Pass is, co is good for a mile of first down. By Epperson of the Vikings. Down Miles to the 23-yard line. He needed 10, 10, got about 13, and that'll get things going back for the Milan offense. More than halfway through the second quarter, Milan leading 28 to nothing, and the Bulldogs.
trying to do something here again. Right, and we've got a uh, whistle. And we'll stop play. Call his false start against the Bulldogs. Only flag on the play be a false start against the Bulldogs. Backs it up to the 28 yard line, so it'll be first and 15. We'll be back to the 28, it'll be first and 15. Milan, if you remember last week against Peabody, had 219 yards in the first half, but only 82 in the second half. Trying for a better showing tonight as far as the yards in the second half. Walker with the keeper over the right side and it's going to gain down to about the 17-yard line. We do have a flag on the play. He will be tripped up by Kip Verser. Kip Verser trips up Walker and He's credited the stop for Humble. Penalty again on Milan. There was a penalty on the play. Back to the 34 yard line. So two consecutive penalties has backed Milan up first and long here. Walker to Brooks. He makes the catch and gets passed out of the grasp of one defender, but not the second, and then a swarm Passes comes on him. Walker to Brooks. Walker's pass to Brooks. They'll give him down to about the 34-yard line. Like Trey Thomas was in on that stop. He was the one that tripped him up, slowed him down. Bring up second and long. The Vikings. Second down. Give to Ballard. Stutter step. Spins and drives That's his way. Ballard on the carry. A nice gain by Anthony Ballard. Stop made by Cameron Mays. Cameron Mays on the tackle for Humboldt. Ball is on the 15-yard line. It'll be third and about Ballard a yard. Ballard gains to the 15, so a nice run there. So third and a long one for Milan here. After being set back by a couple of penalties, they've got it going here. Give us to Ballard. He's going to carry a humble defender. Down close That's to the, the um, inside the 10, down to about the 5. Stop quite by that Dance. far. Ball is at the five yard line. We're going to be first and goal. Dance with the stop. It's a first down on the play. So the give to Ballard. Good to get it to the five yard line. That's where they spotted first and goal. Nearing the end of the second quarter here. And Walker with a handoff. And this time, it goes to Cameron King. That's Cameron King on the carry. The senior. Down just short of Down the goal line. Down inside the one yard line, just shy of the goal. Be second and goal from inside the one. Bulldogs in the eye. Hand off, Cameron King gets it again into the end zone for a Milan touchdown. King into the end zone for the Milan score. King gets it on back-to-back -back carries. Scoring from just outside the one yard line, one in, inside the one yard line rather. And Milan takes a 34 to nothing lead Connor over Allen Humboldt. We're in the second quarter, Connor Allen on Walker's the kick the point after. Allen in his third year of doing the kicking duties for Milan. This one is good. And the point after is good. 
Timeout on the field, Milan has 35 and the Vikings We have timeout on the field, it's Milan 35. Humboldt nothing. You're watching the ball game blitz. Milan leading at 35 to nothing as we near halftime here and Connor Allen to kick it off. It's Duncan and Stewart back deep inside the five yard line for Humboldt. Here it is, a nice kick. And it's going to go past both of the return men into the end zone for the first touchback of the game. So he Humboldt will Connor bring Allen it out to the 20-yard line and take over first and 10. Vikings will take over on their own 20-yard line. Humboldt has looked good at times. They've gotten their passing game pretty well under control and been able to do some damage that way, but just not enough to sustain a drive and certainly uh, have not been able to get into the end zone here in the first half as of yet. Credit the Milan defense for stepping up when they have to. But the Vikings are out here. And at first down, the handoff is going to go to Stewart. He's got some room. Good blocks up the middle. He is going to get it past one Milan defender and is still going out to the 45-yard line. A great Jaylen run Stewart. by Jalen Stewart. Picks Breaking up 25 tackle. yards. Blake Miller had him by the feet, slowed him down a little bit enough for the Milan defenders to catch up and make the stop. But that's going to open it up for Humboldt. You'll be at the Humboldt 46-yard line. They give him to the 46, so a gain of 26 on the play. And that, and that will be the play that ends the first half. half. So we tell you, in this county rivalry game at Barker Memorial Stadium in Humboldt, we are at halftime. And the game has been competitive, but the score is all Milan. The Bulldogs lead it 35 to nothing over the Humboldt Vikings as you score watch Avengers, Milan High School football on Ball Game zero. Blitz. Second quarter. You're watching the ball game blitz. And ready for the opening kick of the second half. A beautiful night for high school football, 73 degrees as we begin the second half on a late August evening. Kick will take a bounce and go out of bounds at the 23-yard line. Penalty on the kick as the ball goes out of bounds. So it comes out to the Milan 35-yard line where the Bulldogs will take over for the first down. Ball will be spotted at the Bulldog 35, first and 10, Milan. Humboldt returning five starters on offense, four on defense from a team that went five and six a year ago, lost in the first round of the playoffs. Some good experience up front. Some guys getting experience in the secondary. Here's Blake Miller who's in a quarterback for Milan with a keeper. He's got the first down and then some out past midfield. That's Blake Miller on the Miller's keeper. the 5'9 junior. He is stopped by Johnny. Gained 17 Lynn. yards on the play for the first down, and so a good start to the half for the Bulldogs. Miller in relief for Landon Walker to the 48-yard line. Miller First has Ballard Bulldogs. as the tailback. Fullback McDaniel gives to Ballard. Over to the right. He's got a nice gain and is going to be That's taken Ballard down by Randy Pirtle for Humboldt. Jody Mort Glenn is in on the stop as well. We called him Jody a little while ago, Pirtle but he goes by and Johnny Glenn. Jody Glenn. Ballard picks up nine, and so it's second and one. So two nice runs to get things open up here for Milan in the half. Landon Walker back in, and quarterback for the Bulldogs. Pass over in the flat to Mayo, and he gets the first down. This is complete from Walker to Lewis Mayo. Mayo's the junior, getting some time at a receiver. Steel Cook. In this game, played some last week as well. First and 10, Milan. Ball down to the 31-yard line. Ball is at the 31-yard line. 
pass from Walker to Mayo picked up eight. Walker with Norman. The handoff to him. He's got some speed. He's going to try to get to the outside. Pass one defender. Pass another one. And then hit and knocked out of bounds. A good game by the freshman there. Jacques Norman. Jacques West Norman. Okay. Down inside the 10 to the 9. Knocked out of bounds by the Vikings. 22 yard carry by Norman. That's his biggest gain of the evening. Ball inside the 10 at the 8. We're going to be first and goal. Give him to the 8. Island. And it's first and goal there for the Bulldogs. The clock is now functioning, so we can tell you it's 9.30 to go in the third quarter. Milan leading 35 to nothing. The give to Norman again. He's going to be hit and stopped there at about the line of scrimmage. Getting up from the bottom of the pile, Cameron Mays for the Vikings. Norman on the carry. Several Vikings in on the stop. He was one of quite a few in on the on the tackle. Gain of two on the play, though, for Norman. It's second and goal from the six. Walker is going to be, and the ball Here's is loose. The the play. Walker hit from his right side. Ball down on the ground, and it is recovered by the ball. Say that Milan recovers it, but he fell on that one. Chandler Smith is the one that recovered the ball or fell on it for Milan. And some nice pressure there. I had Kevin Robinson coming from the right side for Humboldt. So that lost two yards and backs it up to the eight where it's third and goal. Walker under center. Going to the corner of the end zone and it's going to be Knocked away, incomplete, but there's going to be a flag. Pass falls incomplete. Joseph Cook there Can on the defense. On the Make that number nine. That's Kip Verser. It will be pass interference. Call his pass Vikings. interference against Humboldt. At the distance, Ball moves it to the, the four-yard line. Remains third and goal. Walker, and the give to Ballard, and he's going to go walk right into the end zone for a mile and touchdown. As Ballard into the end zone for the touchdown. Anthony Ballard, the sophomore, from four yards out. He has a couple of scores on the evening. And Milan goes ahead 41 to nothing with the point after pending here in the way of a Allen kick by Connor after. Allen. Landon Walker to hold. Here's the kick from Allen. And it's good. He's hit everyone good. in this game and the season Milan so far to give Milan, Milan 42 in a six-touchdown advantage here with 6.57 to go in the third quarter. Milan 42, Humboldt nothing. You're watching the ball game blitz. Center. We're happy to be bringing you this the game on ball seed. game blitz. Milan and Humboldt High School football. AG. Thanks so much for joining us. The rescue squad. And it's Milan up 42 to nothing. 6.57 to go Therapy here in the third quarter. Connor Allen has got quite no, gotten quite the a workout AP. on the uh, kickoffs tonight. YMCA, Milan, and Trennan. Thank yep. you, partners and sponsors. Johnny Glenn as well as Jalen Stewart back deep, and it's going to be Glenn who takes it uh, inside the 10. He's got some room, gets past some Milan defenders or players there and is going to go out of bounds at around the 37-yard line, so a nice return by Glenn. That's Johnny Glenn on the return. 
Connor Allen. The kicker the Connor Allen makes the stop. But not before Glenn gets it out to Ball the 38 yard line. On the Humboldt 38 yard line. Where Humboldt will take over Vikings. first down. So the Vikings with their first possession of the second half. After Milan scores, we'll see if the Vikings can answer. Isaiah Brown at quarterback. The give is to Stewart, and he's going to be tackled by Thomas Burns on the run up, of, up the middle. Jalen Stewart on the carry for the Vikings. He is stopped by Thomas Burns. Stewart gets it to about the 42. Gain of four, it's second down and six. Gain of a couple on the play. Call it three, second and seven. That's enough on the spot. Brown's going to keep it this time. Pressured, and he's still up to the right side. A nice run. Isaiah Brown on the keeper around the right side. Stop is made by Jacquez Norman. Brown is a shifty quarterback. Jacquez Norman getting in, uh, playing defense, and had the tackle on the play. Up third and about two. Gain of about four, it's third down and three. Brown gives, and he's going to be stood up. We'll see that Thomas Burns was in there again. Carlos Santa around the football as and well. And off to Stewart. Lost Burns a yard or two on the plate. With help from All back Carter. to the Humboldt 45. It's fourth and three. Martinez in punt formation. You no know, fourth down and three, and Humboldt will punt. Norman is deep to receive. Martinez to punt, and Jacquez Norman will be back to receive from Island. But it's going to go over Norman and take a Viking bounce inside the 15 to be down at around the 13-yard line. So the punt results in a good turn of the field for Humboldt. Milan will have it inside the 15. First and 10 Bulldogs with four minutes to go here in the third quarter. 42 yards and Milan leading 42 to nothing. Credit a 42-yard punt to Martinez. Milan first and 10 from their own 13. And it'll be Logan Nelson in the sophomore at quarterback for the Bulldogs. So good mix of players seeing some action tonight for Milan. Nelson under center. Hands off to Norman. And he'll gain up. Norman on the carry. To the 17. Stop made by Gerard Cox. Gerard Cox with the tackle. Penalty goes against Milan. Back up the Bulldogs in the uh, formation. Norman, the tailback with Trayvon Milan, the fullback. And the situation is that the ball moves inside the five-yard line down to the four, backing up Milan 10 yards on the plate. Ball is at the Milan three-yard line. It will be first and 20. Here's the snap. Give over to the left side is Norman. Norman on the carry. Stopped by Cox. He just about got back to the line to gain. It's going to be second and one, so a pickup of 19 on the run for Norman. He's second down and 11. That's the first down marker, and so we'll get it straightened up. Gain of nine, second and 11. Snap over the head. Nelson is going to fall on it. In the end zone for a safety. Fumble back into the end zone recovered by Milan 
which results in a safety. So Humboldt is on the board here at the 140 mark of the third quarter with the safety and the high snap over the head of Nelson had to fall on it in the end zone. It's Milan 42, Humboldt 2, and the Vikings will get the ball back on the free kick. So Humboldt needed something to go their way, and they did. Of course, the penalty backed up Milan, and then on the inside the five and the high snap, the Vikings with their first points of the game. You're watching the ball game blitz. Connor Allen from the 20 yard line. It's Johnny Glenn and Jalen Stewart back at uh, about their 40 yard line. And being of Humboldt, they'll get ready. Allen's kick, he's going deep. Glenn backtracking, picks it up inside the 30. He's got the ball and he's going to be stopped at the 35 yard line. Copeland Ray in on the tackle. Stop made by Allen and Copeland Ray. Allen in on the tackle as well. So we'll pick up about 10 on the return. A bolt will take over ball is on the first and 10 at their own 36. 36-yard line, first and 10, Vikings. Minutes to go in the third quarter. It's 42-2. to two. Milan leads. Humboldt, after the safety a moment ago, will get the ball right back, and Brown is going to air it out. He has Cook over the middle, and he's going to be taken down from behind by Jacquez Norman. But a big game for Humboldt. Down to about the 18-yard line. Jacquez Norman on the stop. 46-yard completion from Brown to Cook. Ball is spotted at the 18-yard so line. First and 10, Vikings. Keep up the scoring here with the ball first and 10 from the mile at 18. Pass out to Carlton Childs. He's going to gain out to the 15 and going to be taken down by Tylen Barnhill. Barnhill in the stop. Give him to the 14, and that's going to be the final play the of the third quarter. quarter. So Humboldt is driving with the it's football the after scoring on the Milan safety late here in this quarter. We'll see if the Vikings can punch it in. We've played three quarters here. And the score, Milan 42, Humboldt 2. And you're watching Milan High School Football on Ball Game Blitz. You're watching the Ball Game Blitz. Humboldt has the ball second down and five to go from the, the Milan 13 Wayne as we supporters. begin the fourth quarter. And dignitaries here tonight. In a game with a running clock Let's as the margin together is 40. Make United Way have a Milan leading here. 42 to 2. But Humboldt with a nice drive thanks to that big completion from Brown to Cook a moment ago. And Brown will lead the Vikings back out. He's going to keep it. Got some room up the middle. And he gets close to the goal line. Got Isaiah. tripped up a little bit. Had to sidestep the referee. Brown on the keeper. Brown carries it down to the one-yard line. It'll be first and goal from there for the Vikings. He's down to the one yard line, first and goal, Vikings. Brown with the snap gives to Jalen Stewart, who makes it easily into the end zone for a humble touchdown. That comes at the 11 28 mark in the fourth quarter. Jalen Stewart on the carry into the end zone, a touchdown, Vikings. Stewart with the first humble touchdown of the night, makes it 42 to 8. Milan and we've got an injured Viking down in the end zone. The injured Viking is Zach Cox. As he makes his Big way off the field. Cox. 
Cox, the junior, plays in the offensive and defensive lines for Humboldt. So following the one-yard touchdown run by Stewart and the timeout for the injury, we'll have a point-after attempt here by Humboldt. Vikings will be going for two with Brown and quarterback Stewart in the backfield and Thomas Cunningham in its center in the place of Cox. The snap to Brown, rolling to the left. He's being pressured and it's going to be forced out of bounds. Points no good and Carlos Hanna Ashley had pressure. Brown. Johnny Littles was in there Runs as well two point conversion. No good. to pursue Timeout Brown. The two point try no good. 11.28 to go in the, in the game. It's Milan 42, Humboldt 8. Brandon Martinez will kick it off for Humboldt. Martinez to kick. Following the Viking score. Two point conversion failed. So Milan to get the ball back. 11 and a half minutes to go in the game and the Bulldogs lead it 42 to eight. Back deep for Milan, it's Trey Moore and Blake Miller and the kick will go out of bounds at the 22 yard line. Martinez kick goes out of bounds. So Milan will have it out at the 35 yard line. First and 10. Milan will take, take over on their own 35 yard line, first and 10. Logan Nelson is in at quarterback. Logan Nelson at quarterback with Kareem Williamson. Back there, Nelson is going to give to Williamson up the middle. Kareem Williamson on the carry. He's hit there in Williamson. First contact initiated by Gerard Cox. Gains three on the play. Cox with the stop for the Vikings. Give it two for Williamson on the carry, and so it's second and eight. Ball out to the Milan 37. To Nelson. He's going to keep it running right. And he's going to be slung down there. That's Logan Nelson on the carry. Marquee shoots. Flag on the play. He will be stopped on the play. Marquis shoots. Call his face and mask the against Vikings Tumble. Face mask. That will advance the ball to just beyond the 45 yard line where it'll be first down, Milan. Ball now is located at the 46 yard line. Milan first, first and, and ten. 10 from the 46. Nelson with, Nelson with Tylen Barnhill out there. Let's see, give to the first man through and that's gonna be Barnhill. Pass midfield out to the 46 and flag on the play. In a crowd of players from both teams, we have another flag on the play.
personal foul personal against, foul against both, both teams. teams. The offset. So the fouls will offset. Gain of six on the previous carry, and so it'll be second down and four. Williamson up the middle, going to pick up about two. Williamson on the carry. That's Pettigrew on the stop. Brings up third and almost two. A credit Mario Pettigrew on the stop. Third down and two. Ball at the Humboldt 46. Nelson, pass is going to be over the extended hands of Garrett Rogers on the right pass side, incomplete. It'll bring up fourth down. Fourth down and two. Potts and Mayo in for Milan. Is they're going to go for it. The Bulldogs are from the 46-yard line on fourth down and two. Nelson has a receiver to the right, one to the left. He's going to pass, and it's complete to Blaine Potts going down the sideline, making it inside the 30-yard line for a Bulldog first down. Nelson to Potts. Great connection from Logan Nelson to Blaine Potts, the junior receiver. Stop made by Johnny Glenn. Johnny Glenn on the stop. And boy, he threaded that pass. A great catch made in some traffic. Follows that the 27 yard Down line. to the 27. First and 10 and so a gain of 19 on the pass moves the chains. First and 10, Bulldogs. Handoff, this time Quay Gunn. He is still on his feet in a great effort. By Gunn. Gunn on the carry. Picks up six yards down to the 20. Two. Brings up second and a little more than four. Second and a long four for Milan. Just under eight minutes to go in the game. Hand off. Fullback Copeland Ray this time. Copeland Ray on the, on the carry. He gains about three, and it'll be third down and one. Ball spot at the 18-yard line. Nelson is going to keep, trying to get it to the outside. And he will move it down to the 15-yard line. Nelson, Some good blocking. Keeper, and on a third and one play, a nice situation for younger players to gain some experience. And Nelson deep. rushes for the first down. We have timeout for an injured Humboldt player with 7-12 to go in the game. Milan leading 42-8. You're watching the Ball Game Blitz. The injured player to Marcus Wardlow, a Big junior for, for Humboldt. Wardlow. Plays several different positions for the Vikings. Bolt has had a handful of players injured in this game, and we hope they're all okay. Out 
After Nelson's keeper for the first down, Milan has it first and 10 from the Viking 15. Two receivers right. And coming back, Lewis Mayo, and Nelson overthrows his intended target. The incomplete pass makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Milan wants to punch it in at least one more time. Vikings looking for a hold here. Here's Nelson running to his right. He's going to be pursued and tackled in the backfield by Drayvon Arbor. Logan Nelson is sacked on the play by Humboldt's Drayvon Armour. The sack results in a loss of eight yards on the play. So it's third and 18 now, and the ball outside the 20. At the 22-yard line. Snap. And Nelson is going to be tackled again, and it's Drayvon Armour again with the sack. Two consecutive plays that we've seen that unfold. By Armour. Ball is back to the 30-yard line. Ball back to the 30-yard line. It'll bring up fourth and long. So with fourth and 25, we'll see a field goal attempt from Milan by Connor Allen. He was two for two in last week's game Connor against Peabody. Allen. Hit it from 30 Allen. and from 33 Allen. yards. This one will be from 47 yards out. Landon Walker to hold, and Allen will attempt the kick. Good snap. Kick is up, and it's going to be short, no good. So at the 524 mark in the fourth quarter, Humboldt will take over as the Bulldogs lead it 42 to 8. take over on his own 20-yard line. Humboldt to gain possession at the 20-yard line, first and 10. A familiar formation, here's Brown dropping back to pass. He's going to be pursued by Kurt Chandler. Let's it fly, catch made by Brandon Seymour. And he gets to the middle of the field. Passes Gain of 15 on the play for a Humboldt Brown first down. To Brendan Seymour. Seymour right there to make the catch, and it was a Logan good one. Logan Nelson on the stop. Logan Nelson makes the tackle for Milan. Ball spotted at the 35-yard line, first and 10 Vikings. So first and 10 Humboldt now from their own 35 clock at five minutes to go in the game. Brown get her aired out again, this time over the middle. Intended target was KJ Champion. Last ball's incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Jack Wes Norman was in the vicinity for Milan. Second and ten now for the Vikings. Looking ahead for both teams, Humboldt, after beginning the season with two non-region games, will now play region games for eight consecutive weeks. They travel to South Fulton next Friday and then host Peabody. In two weeks, Milan will begin region play next week at home against Liberty. Brown, pass complete to Stewart, and he keeps going. It's going to be wrestled out of bounds. Pass completed from Brown to Stewart. Lewis Mayo over there, Lewis Mayo as well as Ray. We have a flag on the plate. 
There is a flag. Call goes against Milan for the hit. Personal foul against the Bulldogs. Moves it into Milan territory, all the way to the 45-yard line. After the penalty ball now in Bulldog territory at the 45-yard so line. So the Vikings, and 10 Vikings looking to score again here. Under five minutes to go in this game. They're from the 45, first and 10. Brown being flushed out to his right. He's still he's running down the sidelines and gets inside the 40. Isaiah Brown on the keeper, lowers his head and plows forward. Carter as well as I had Williamson ahead on the stop. The stop for Milan. Make it pots for Milan. Man down for the Viking. And Humboldt has an injured player in the backfield. Big Big man for Tommy Cunningham. To his feet is Thomas Cunningham. For Humboldt. As we resume play, Humboldt has its second down, two to go from the 37. Duck in the running back. And he gets the give and has got some open ground. A nice run and he's gonna be pushed down at about the 12 yard Rico line. Duncan. That's Rico Duncan. Maneuvering in and out. Christian Wright, Downfield. the freshman in on the tackle, has the tackle rather for Milan. Ball spotted. Big gain for a Viking first down. 12 yard line, first down Vikings. Gain of 25 on the play. So first and 10 from the 12. Humboldt has it. Brown throws it, and it's incomplete. Falls Intended for Seymour. Well defended there by the Bulldogs. On second down, Brown throws it complete. Pass That's complete. to KJ Champion. Brown to KJ Champion. Gained two yards on the play down to the 10, and it's third and down third at eight. Down at about eight. We had penalty flag. Movement on Milan. But they were drawn Ball off, and Vikings. so it goes. Oh! It is against Milan, and we have a uh, call is corrected. Correction. That's defensive offsides. Offsides. It moves it. Mark it off five yards, third down and three now. Ball at the five for Humboldt. Three minutes to go in this game. Milan leads 42 to eight. Brown will throw, corner of the end zone, Seymour, and he just overthrows him. Pass in the end zone. Out of bounds and incomplete. So the Vikings will be faced with fourth down and three from the five yard line. Well, it looks as if they keep the same personnel on the field here for the fourth down try. 
Brown with Rico Duncan back there. Has some receivers too. He's going to keep it himself. Looks like his forward momentum will take him into the first down, and we've got some activity after the play here. Penalty flags on the field. I'll pause a moment to let the officials get it all sorted out here. You watched it develop. Well, that brought some energy to the fans who are left in the stadium with 2.35 to go in the game. It was a fourth down. We've got to spot the ball and uh, see what happened. It's first down. Humboldt, he needed three yards. He got that. Brown did on the uh, keeper. It'll be first and 10 for the Bulldogs. Well, they did stop it after all of that. We'll assume that Milan's defense held. The penalties would have been after the play. And so Milan takes over first and 10 from their own five. Well, 2.35 to go in the game. Milan's going to win this one. The lead now at 42 to 8. And despite what just happened, you look at the situation of both teams only having eight seniors. The future looks promising for Humboldt, certainly some talented players. Also with Milan, and uh, these younger players are getting some action here in this second half. Logan Nelson back in at quarterback. Going to hand it off to the first guy through, Tylen Barnhill. Barnhill on the carry. Tackled by several Vikings. Loss of one on the play for Barnhill, so it's going to be second and 11 ball back to the five. Several Viking players in on the stop. We've gone under two minutes to play in the game. Nelson handoff right side. This is Kareem Williamson. He's going to gain Williamson a few yards. Stop made by Johnny Glenn. Johnny Glenn with the tackle for Humboldt. Williamson gains three. And it's third down at eight. Be third about seven. Make it third and seven from the nine yard line. Island seems content to take their time and the clock will wind down to the one minute mark in this game. So Milan will improve to one and one on the season while Humboldt will fall to one and one. Both teams in a region play next week. Nelson hands it off. This is Quay Gunn and he's going to be taking off Quay his feet. On the carry. But not before he gets an island Stop first down. Got a junior back. Picking up 10 yards on the play. Now 
Nelson gets the signal for what will be the final play of the game. And off to Barnhill, going to be stopped by Armour. And that does it for this game as the Milan Bulldogs come here to Humboldt and defeat the Vikings 42 to 8. Milan has won two in a row over Humboldt and 11 of the last 12 over the Vikings. Milan again moving to 1 and 1 on the season. Humboldt falls to 1 and 1 next week. Humboldt at South Fulton while Milan will host Liberty Tech, both those games, region games. Well, we appreciate you joining us for this broadcast of Milan High School football and the Bulldogs defeat Humboldt 42 to eight. For Kevin Thomas on camera, I'm Clay Cottom. And this presentation of Milan High School football on Ball Game Blitz, produced by Paul Schultze and Worthy Road Studios. Until we see you again, it's Milan 42, Humboldt eight. And the Bulldogs move to one and one on this season. Good night from Humble. You're watching the Ball Game Blitz.